you know, it's interesting how folks try to call the best president in history, President Trump, racist when he tried to do things to secure our border. The border is always going to be an issue, always going to be a talking point in politics, but I'm going to give y'all my little perspective on it. I'm going to tell you how it affects me and how it bothers me and why I supported President Trump on this issue and not the new acting guy puppet sitting there acting like he's doing something. I'm going to tell you why I supported President Trump and not this other guy. Okay, President Trump wanted to secure our borders, okay, for a lot of reasons. If you look into it, there's sex trafficking and drugs and all types of stuff that come across our border that's not good for the American people. But for me personally, the workforce, the working man in America, and I'm a black man in America, in case y'all haven't noticed, but I'm going to speak as a black man, but I'm speaking for all working men in America. I worked in construction many years. You see these hands? These are not old ugly hands. These are not uh, uh, Instagram hands. You know what I'm saying? This ain't computer man hands. These are working man hands. When President Trump and his policies at the border slowed down a lot of illegal immigrants and deterred people from just flooding in our country like that, I didn't have no problem with that. I didn't have no problem with that. African Americans, our employment rate was really high. I think it was like at 7%. Like 7 out of 10 of us had jobs. And I give a lot of credit to Donald Trump and his immigration policy. Some of y'all may not see it like that. Also, with the votes. Well, I'm going to back it up. So with the work, with the work, Trump policies allowed me to have a job and allow my sons and my grandkids to have jobs in the future. This new policy that they coming up with, you think the black man was said to not want to work years ago, what y'all think gonna happen when 80 million, 100 million, however many thousands, however many, we're just flooded with all types of illegal immigrants. And like I said, it's gonna sound racist, but I'm not racist. Look, I went to, I was born in America. They told me I had to go to school for 12 years if I wanted to get a job. Learn all types of shit. History, math, science, government, literature. 12 years I had to go to school if I wanted to have a chance in America. That was the American dream. The American dream. I'm an American. President Trump supports that American dream. But this new administration seems like they support an American dream, but it's a Mexican-American dream. I hate to say it. It's like a Mexican-American dream. They dream to come into this country, and I understand why. And making money here and sending it back to their country, that's a nice dream, but that's not a dream of the American people. I should not have to compete with a guy who cannot speak English. I'm sorry. If that's the case, stop having our kids go to school right now. I should not have to compete with a guy who don't know the difference between red or blue. You say, go up, he go down. I should not have to compete with that man in my country. And I hate if it sounds racist, but why did y'all make me go to school for 12 years if these type of things ain't necessary? Why? The black man goes to work on that same job, $15 an hour, can barely, barely feed his family. His morale is very low. That illegal immigrant who came across this border his dream is totally different. That $15 an hour, I've seen it. On Fridays, straight to the check cashing place, straight out of the country, ciphering our economy and flourishing other economies. And we go to work as the black man like, oh, damn, this little $15 an hour ain't getting nowhere. But the other dude come to work, his $15 an hour is buying ranches and houses and Toyota 4Runners and shit in his country. So he's going to work with a whole different type of morale. A whole different type of morale. I mean, it's a dark side to that. If I was them, I would do it too, but I'm not them. I'm me. But just because President Trump loved Americans first doesn't mean he's racist. And now this new administration want to make pathways to citizenship for all types of people. It's not because he loved them. It's because, for one, he would like to replace us. He would like to replace the working man. Cheaper labor. Definitely cheaper labor. When I worked, they didn't ask for insurance. They didn't ask for time off. They didn't ask for anything. 
their American dream looks a lot better living underneath this new administration. Your dream, you as an American, your American dream is it, not looking looking as bright as theirs are right now. Black or white, have you your American dream is not looking like their dreams right now. Their dreams are looking good. We not even working right now. What the hell gonna happen when we do get back to work and uh we outnumbered? Like we fuck around and never get back to work. This new administration is very goofy. They would like to replace voters. What y'all think is going to happen when they let a lot of illegal immigrants in here? Like for real. They're going to vote Democrat for the next hundred years. The next hundred years, they're going to vote C, 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 you know, whatever, C, C, C. They're going to have loyalty, loyalty to the Democratic Party for the next foreseeable future. That's the reason why Joe Biden, I hate to even say his name, that's the reason why this new administration wants to open up these borders. They want to replace, especially me, the black voters, because they feel like, you know, we waking up. We starting to think for ourselves. We starting to think for ourselves. We didn't get out and vote for Hillary the way that we did for Obama. We're not really loyal to their plantation. So they want to replace us. Y'all had a problem with President Trump for what? That was the realest, realest fucking president that you would ever see in history. The realest. Said what he mean, mean what he said. Cared about the American people. Look at this new administration. He's not worried about no Americans. They're not worried about Americans at all. They're not worried about us going back to work. They're not worried about us going back to school. They just trying to mess the whole situation up all together, but it's not going to work. President Trump is still fighting. President Trump is not gone anywhere. Making America great and keeping America great is a promise to the American people that will be kept. And it takes all of us to play our part. Again, some people might see this video as a rant, a racial rant. It's not what my intentions are. Hola. Como estas? Welcome to America. But, but don't get too comfortable. Maybe this new administration need to have an assembly. Remember when we went to new high schools, we used to have an assembly, sit down and have a discussion, let you know, you know how we do shit here. Because how we do shit here ain't how you did shit over there. And if you're going to come here, assimilate with the people. Don't have your little country inside of our country. and that, that ain't how shit goes. That ain't great for us. That ain't great for us. I love America first. Our President Trump loves America first. It's all about us winning. America first. People talk about, oh, America ain't your country, bud. America don't give a fuck about you, man. Guess what? My birth certificate says America. And when I fucking die, it's going to say fucking America. And a thousand years from now, when they dig up my fucking bones, guess what? It's going to be fucking in America. Y'all don't understand. This is where you at. Fucking America. Land of the free. Home of the brave. And I still pledge allegiance to that flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. God bless you. God bless America.